Today on Upfront, the year ahead, what's coming in Wisconsin in 2017? From transportation to taxes, how people feel about the issues of the day. It's my conversation with Kurt Bauer of Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce. Then, Wisconsin Democrats now deeper in the minority. Today, Assistant Minority Leader Diane Hesselbein responds to Republicans' promise of a bolder agenda. Plus, what a repeal of Obamacare could mean for Wisconsin families. Covering the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Upfront with Mike Goucher. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Upfront. It's a new year with a new agenda for state leaders on tap. Governor Walker will deliver his State of the State address on Tuesday afternoon. State lawmakers were sworn in last week, and already attention is turned to what Republican leaders promised will be a big and bold legislative agenda. Today on Upfront, we're looking at the issues ahead from two perspectives. In a few minutes, I'll be talking to a state Democratic leader about their priorities. But we begin with the president of the state's largest business lobby, Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, which will be releasing a new poll of state residents on key issues like transportation. That will come out tomorrow. WMC President Kurt Bauer joins us now on Upfront. It's good to have you back on the Thank program. you. It's great to be here. So a couple things about the poll. 506 uh, Wisconsin likely voters, likely voters. surveyed. Uh, the Terrence Group, which has done a lot of polling for Governor did, Walker right? in the past out of Washington. Uh, give me your takeaway to, to what the results show. Well, it, it's consistent with what we're seeing with our membership. Uh, we do a separate survey of our members. They are very optimistic at the beginning of uh, 2017. This survey shows a lot of optimism of uh, likely voters. And in particular, it shows that uh, millennials are optimistic about what the two, uh, 2017 means for them. And that's important because, you know, you hear a lot about the next generation not doing as well uh, as previous generations. And it also means that uh, millennials like being in Wisconsin. We think that's important because we, we want to retain and we want, we want more of them uh, to, to come to Wisconsin. That's important for our workforce. That's a key issue, isn't it, for it's, your organization? Because we've got to think about what's coming down the road for this state. Seventy percent of our members are having trouble hiring people right now. And if you're looking at uh, demographic trends, it doesn't look good. We're one of 12 states that have uh, more baby boomers than we do millennials. That's a problem for us going forward. If you don't have a workforce, you don't have GDP growth. Let's talk about some of the specifics in the poll. Uh, a uh, gas tax. You asked a question about that. That's a hotly debated item. Uh, could be a hotly debated item in this uh, session of the legislature. How do people feel about the prospect of higher gas taxes in this state? Well, it's it's split. Um, forty nine support, uh, forty eight percent uh, oppose. Um, more Democrats support it, as you might guess. Uh, more Republicans oppose it. Uh, so right now, it's just kind of caught in the middle. What's interesting, though, you know, here in the Milwaukee area, more people uh, oppose it. In Madison, I guess maybe not surprisingly, 64% uh, uh, support uh, higher gas tax. WMC is in favor of a gas tax, uh, about a five, per, uh, five cent a gallon one. We are in one. favor of We are in favor of one. We see the need. That's important to us. If you, if you look at transportation, it's important to service our, our three major uh, economic sectors, manufacturing, agriculture, uh, and tourism. So we believe that that's an important investment. Does this uh, finding help bolster your argument with somebody like Governor Walker, who has been a little bit more reluctant to talk about a gas tax Well, Governor increase. Walker's re reluctance is just purely with an offset. And uh, if we can find a you way... You can lower taxes. You can else. lower taxes someplace else. Um, so it, 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 we would have to we'd have to figure out that, and and that's that's tougher because tax collections are coming in about projections, uh, not exactly gangbusters. So finding a tax offset will, will be a little challenging. Any poll in Wisconsin uh, uh, generally brings up the subject of taxes. Um, you still think we're a, a high tax state? We are, and and so. In, in your poll, what are people most concerned about? Which taxes bother them the most? We were, I guess, a little surprised at property taxes. Uh, m maybe not that surprised because when we polled uh, in early December, that's when the tax bills were coming out for people. So we, we tend to be very high on, on property taxes and, and income. We're lower on the uh, sales tax. But it, Wisconsin is still, you know, according to the Tax Foundation out of D.C., which is important because that's the one that uh, people from out of state look at, we're still in the top ten. We need to get out of the uh, what I would call the infamous top ten as far as the most uh, highest tax states in the union. Why do you think, uh, and, and you've been around in this position for a while, 
Uh, there seems to be some talk about possibly a different structure in terms of our taxing that maybe, as you point out, the sales tax is too low, the property taxes are too high, maybe we could do something a little differently. Why don't we seem to have that, that discussion as seriously in the legislature? Well, it, there, there are a lot of entrenched interest groups, um, and it's hard to get things done on, on, on those controversial things, and particularly at, when tax collections are are, are they're stable, but they're not exactly gangbusters because GDP growth nationwide and in Wisconsin hasn't been all that great. So it, maybe we can have this discussion like we, we were able to do back in the late 1990s when GDP growth was much higher and tax, collation, uh, ta tax collections were coming in much higher. Uh, uh, one other issue, and that's health care. And, and we're in this period now where uh, Republicans are talking about replacing Obamacare, um, but they're talking about repealing it, or at least piece by piece repealing it. How big a concern is, is health care? Well, 58% uh, uh, of those that we polled uh, said that their health care went up in the last year. And interesting enough, uh, the highest uh, spike was among working women, 65%. Uh, and that parallels, again, with our economic survey of our members, uh, where they saw a steep hike uh, in, in, in their health care costs. And, and that has an impact because that means deductibles go up, uh, premium contributions go up, uh, co-pays go up. We have to address this. This is, this is something that has a broader impact because it, it makes us uncompetitive internationally because it's another cost of doing business and we're much higher than the rest of the world. What impact do you think the, the election of President Trump has, has had on these numbers? It clearly have had some because this isn't an outlier that suddenly you know, we're much more optimistic as uh, likely voters in Wisconsin. Our members are, are more optimistic about the direction of the national economy. We've seen other polls. You had Rose Oswald polls from the bankers on last week right. talking about their poll. So clearly it's not an anomaly. People are optimistic going into this, uh, this new administration. Let me ask you one final question about the timing of this. It comes out tomorrow uh, and it comes out of the time where lawmakers are going back to work. How much influence do you want to have with them? I mean, this gives some Republican lawmakers, I guess you could say, a little bit of political cover, depending on what they see in the numbers. Well, it's not a coincidence it comes out right before yeah, the sure legislative session. Yeah. We, we've done this the second year in a row, and it's, an, uh, it's a way to show where the, the voters are uh, right going into it in a, a very important two-year legislative uh, cycle. So we hope that people take a look at this and, and see where voters are and, and act accordingly as far as a legislative agenda. Kurt Bauer is the head of the WMC in Wisconsin. It's good to have you back on the program. Thank we you. appreciate it. And what, if anything, are state Democrats prepared to work with Republicans on? I'll be asking an assembly minority leader next on Upfront. And later, the coming fight over the Affordable Care Act, how an Obamacare repeal could affect Wisconsin families. That's when Upfront continues. Upfront with Mike Goucher, brought to you by the American Transmission Company.